Today, we're going to be learning about Elma Woodsy Thomas, born in 1891 and died in 1978. Elma Thomas was born in Georgia, but her family moved to Washington, D.C. in 1907 as part of the Great Migration. She dreamed of becoming an architect and building bridges. But at that time, there were very few women architects. She attended Howard University and became its first fine arts graduate. She went on to teach art at a Washington, D.C. junior high school for 35 years. At age 88, she was the first African-American woman to have a solo exhibition at the Whitney Museum of American Art. So let's take a look at some of her paintings. Here are two of them. And here's a quote by Elma Thomas. Through color, I have sought to concentrate on beauty and happiness rather than man's inhumanity to man. So her paintings are uh, very simplified and abstract, but they may remind you of things that you know. Like the one on the right reminds me of maybe a mountain landscape with a setting sun. Um, this other one uh, might remind you of a flower or the sun when it's first coming up into the um, early morning sky. Okay, here is a, another one of her paintings. Okay, again, it's almost like a sunrise or a sunset. Um, so these are painted and you can see each one of her little brush strokes and they're very, you know, choppy and you can pick out each one, just like she touched the brush with her paintbrush and moved. She didn't smooth them all together. This was definitely her style and each painting of hers, you can see that style. And one more, she was also very inspired by an eclipse that happened during her lifetime. An eclipse is when the moon moves in front of the sun, blocking out the light, except for around the very edges. All right, so let's learn how to make an artwork inspired by Elma Thomas. Hi, boys and girls. I hope you had fun learning about Elma Thomas. Now we are going to make a collage inspired by her artwork. So collage is when you glue smaller pieces of paper down to a larger piece of paper to make a picture. So what I want is you're gonna take your circle out of your envelope, okay? And you will glue it in the middle of your big square of paper. All right next, there's little pieces of paper that are gonna act as the brush strokes like Elma Thomas's work. So what are you gonna do? First ones, you're gonna match to your circle. Okay, and you're gonna continue the same color all the way around your circle. And if you, if it doesn't quite fit, you can always rip one in half at the end. All right, so now I've gone all the way around my circle. Now I can switch to any color I have in my envelope. But you might wanna gather them all up first before you start. Okay, and then it'll go quick. All right, so I'm gonna switch to blue here. And same thing as the pink. I am going to go all the way around with the same color. Find some more of the blue ones here. So 
You don't need much glue on your pieces of paper to glue them down. They're not that big. All right, now I went all the way around with my blue papers. So guess what? Now I can switch colors again. Let's see, what color do I want to do now? I'm gonna do purple now. So I'm gonna gather up a bunch of purple pieces. This one has two different colors of purple there. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's not the right purple, so I'm gonna put that one back for right now. There's one that's the right color. There's one. Okay, now I have a bunch of pieces. So I'm gonna start adding them going around in a circle. just adhering or gluing these pieces down until I get all the way around. I think I need one more. three rows so guess what now I can switch colors again of this bright pink. So I'm gonna do the bright pink. So your colors may differ in your envelope, but I always find it helpful. Okay, I'm just gonna select a bunch of papers before I start gluing. So I have them all in a pile. Okay, and same thing as before. Your hands start to get sticky you can grab a wipe and wipe them off mine are starting to get a little sticky Whoop, I have two together here and one more and then I've gone all the way around And 
you can keep going all the way around until you reach the edge of your paper, until you've totally run out of room to go around. 